After six months of hard work, the boat is finally coming together. Luckily, we found a good location to spend the summer and practice sailing in the Chesapeake. Now that some of the expensive projects have been completed, like the sails reworked and the replacing of the running rigging, we can get down to the task at hand and get started on the chain plates, the rudder, and the anchor system.
A lot of it went. Imagine, imagine having to pump that chain up there. It doesn't work. Did that already. Ooh, look at your pants. Give her and give her a hug when you're done. Yeah. You want this? Now I'm in a better mood. <laughs> Alright, the only thing left is a man is swivel. That's what you gotta get. If you're gonna have a big boat or any boat, you've gotta get a swivel so where the chain won't spit, bind up on the anchor. So, and this is easy, you just take this off, slide this chain up in there, put the chain in this in this little spot, shove the pin in. Yeah. and then pull this back up. And then you've got to uh, put plumbing tape on there to get it going. And then you just take some swage wire. And that's the important part is to put the swage wire on in a way that it tells you to do it on maybe a YouTube video that sells mantis swivels. So it's important that you have to put this wire on. All right, so that's it. She's done. How much did that cost us? Two grand, it was about two grand, wasn't it? Close to Yep. All right, so to give you an idea of what I gotta do, this is probably the worst example of rusty one. So that whole rod has to come off. You know, it's gotta all get, you know, ground down, get all that rust off, get all the rust off of those threadings, Put lanolin in it and get those threadings to where that'll spin really easy get a, just clean it up and then get all that rust off and then coat it with you know the grease like on the other one and uh, move on so this is the worst one there's what I think there's one two three four four or five on each side of the boat and I have to do every one of them and so that's what it'll probably take me a week or so or maybe three or four days but uh, it's got to get done it's got to get done or it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and then i'll have to replace it. i don't even want to know what it costs to refit. that if this was a proper refit all that get new but you know, that, i don't want to spend it's all right it'll be all right any last things you use. now see see how clean it cleaned right up and then there's lanolin in the there's lanolin in the hole, and then that's coated with grease, and the whole rod's gone, and then that got ground down, covered with grease, and lanolin in the hole. So, and here's the rod right there. So now I just got to take it and clean that rod up, put it all back together. So do you guys remember maybe my second or third video about being out here at the boat? I was talking about the rigging. So, remember I was talking about the chain plate being bad. That right down in there, that chain plate. It's not bad. I thought it was. Somebody had taken this right here and put a spacer alongside this chain plate. Because if you take this pin out, this clip, this thing will spread apart at least a quarter inch or more. So, they had put a long pin in here. But instead of taking the pair of pliers or channel locks, squeezing this together, putting a short pin in, they put a spacer of cheap metal along the side of this chain plate and just sit there and rust it alongside this chain plate. So there's nothing wrong with that chain plate. You know, you have to get all the rust off, cover that thing with a marine corrosive gr grease, and use lanolin like on the other ones, and just clean them up and every year put some grease on them and keep them from rusting that's my plan and then i'm going to power wash all that and get all that dirt out and then maybe spray some bleach down there and call it a day but you know this is a sailboat it's not 
It's not a million dollar yacht. It's to get me across the ocean or wherever I'm trying to go. It's mechanical. So grease, lanolin, that's, and maintenance. That's the trick. So if I say lanolin one more time, it's lanicoat. So on the next video, I'm gonna go a little bit more detail on the chain plates, and then we're gonna move on to the rudder and the skeg, and all that rust right there is gonna get removed and cleaned up. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.